Hello, I'm Father Herant Kevorkian from St. Sarkis Church in Dearborn, Michigan. Today I'm going to be helping you in the reflection of this coming Sunday, the first Sunday after the Transfiguration. Today's biblical reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew. It is the story of the lost sheep. We can read this parable in two different accounts, one in the Gospel of Matthew and the second based on the account in the Gospel of Luke. Both have a slight difference, but in general, they represent the same story or the same parable. Let me tell you what the parable in the Gospel says. It says, what do you think if a shepherd had a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray? Does he not leave the 99 on the mountain and go in search on the one that has gone astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99 that never went astray. And Jesus concludes and says, so it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. This parable from the Gospel of Matthew today, it represents and it shows the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to each and every human being, to each and every one of us, his creation, his creatures. Our Lord, Himself, he is the shepherd, because he himself said in the Gospel of John that he is the good shepherd. He is the shepherd that loves his sheep and knows his sheep one by one. He knows me by my name, and he knows you by your name, dear faithful. We are the sheep. We, the creatures, the faithful, we are the sheep that no matter what we do and how hard we try, there are days and there are times in our lives when we are lost. We have gone astray. And the Lord, our Savior, the Shepherd, the mighty Shepherd, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, He comes in search for all of us. He leaves His heavenly glory. We saw that last Sunday, on the Sunday of the Transfiguration, how Jesus was on the mountain and He transfigured and he was in his divine glory in front of his disciples. However, right after the transfiguration, he told his disciples, let us go back down from the mountain. Yes, Jesus left that glory to come in search for us. We are the sheep, as we said. And it's very important to note that when we are lost, it is difficult to find our way back home to our Lord. It is difficult to go back on our own. We need His help and that is why our Lord was incarnated to help us, to save us, to take us back to Him. In the Gospel of Luke, according to the account in the Gospel of Luke, it says, the shepherd carries the sheep on his back and rejoices, carries him back. It's very beautiful to see that, to see that our Lord carries us to him. We need his help in our life to go to him. He is searching for us. He wants us to find him, but we need him to find him. So let us pray. Let us continue to pray every day in our lives to make sure that we hear his voice when he's calling upon us, when he's calling and searching for us and come back and trust in him so that he will be able to save us and carry us on his shoulders to take us to him. So may God bless you, open your ears. Let us accept the fact that we are lost sheep. We lose our path, our road once in a while, and we need our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to come and carry us back to him. God bless you and may God always make you hear the voice of God and make you a part of the whole flock, the 99 and the 100 that's coming back. God bless you all.